Darlene Stein runs a small farm, 600 sheep. She sells her flock for meat, but before they're sent off to market, she checks her animals for the presence of antibiotics. For years, Darlene and other farmers, big operations and small, have been able to give their animals medications like antibiotics and antifungals to treat different kinds of infections or skin diseases. They are purchased over the counter and without a veterinarian's guidance. But that's about to change. Health Canada will now require a vet's prescription. For Darlene, that means more work and more cost. Sheep producers, we have a lot more animals and therefore it would equal a lot more uh, visits to the vet. But Health Canada and the World Health Organization say the cost is worth it. The WHO defines antimicrobial resistance as the ability of an organism like bacteria to stop an antimicrobial from working against it. That resistance can transfer to humans through meat ingestion or handling treated animals. The WHO calls it a big threat to global health. Just watch her, yeah. then and recheck her. Yeah. Veterinarian Trevor Hook says antibiotic management is key to human and animal health in the future. Some of these antibiotics have no other alternatives, right? And they are the that if there's if that doesn't treat the bug, then nothing is going to. If we don't have antibiotics to treat these infections, then people can potentially die from them. Do you want a bag for that? Do you need a bag? The United Farmers of Alberta is an authorized medical supplier until the new rules kick in. The UFA says extra costs will hurt farmers. Prices uh, are going to affect everybody. Where it's really going to hurt the most are the smaller producers. But those in support say it's good news for consumers. If you had questions about whether antibiotics were being used appropriately on the farm before, you should be reassured that, well, okay, those concerns that I might have had, they're not concerns at all anymore. Concerns remain for farmers like Stein. She hopes the new rules won't prevent her from getting access to the drugs her livestock needs. Rafi Bujikani, CBC News, near Barhead, Alberta.